Welcome back to the nice, cozy, and warm greenhouse. If I'll give you one tip if you're coming to the annual butterfly show, it would be to wear short sleeves. Is it ever warm in here? Uh, it really is, yeah. <laughs> what temperature do the butterflies need to stay at? Uh, well, the greenhouse is kept at 27 mm -hmm. uh, degrees, and it is fairly humid, as you can tell. So it does get fairly warm in here, yeah. This is Fraser McQuarrie. Uh, Let's Talk Science coordinator. Before mm -hmm. I get you to explain yeah, to me exactly yeah. what Let's Talk Science is, uh, the reason why the greenhouse needs to stay so warm is well, for the butterflies. Because they're all tropical, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so that's what's so cool about it is the fact that you wouldn't ever see these regularly because none of them exist in North America, yeah, right? Well, exactly, yeah, right. Okay, the show only runs for 10 days, so you want to get down here before it closes on holiday Monday. Let's talk science. All right, <laughs> great. What is it? What's, uh, what's the program? Well, we're a national science outreach organization. Mm -hmm. uh, we have volunteers that go into our classrooms. They're positive role models to kids to get, deliver them hands-on activities, really engage them in science, bring science to life, to get them excited about science, thinking about science may be something they want to do in their future. Mm -hmm. Is it typical or is it difficult to get kids excited about science, do you Absolutely think? Absolutely not. Think of it like the butterflies, one example. Science is just so fascinating, right? It's just really, really cool. But, you know, sometimes kids aren't really engaged, mm -hmm. so we really provide support to teachers to really uh, give them as much help bringing science lessons mm -hmm. for kids, yeah. So how are you going to do that using the butterflies over the next couple of weeks? Well, we have tour groups coming in. We have schools that have booked tours, and we have uh, Let's Talk Science volunteers uh, bringing the kids. We have a classroom hands-on activity uh, that we're going to give them for about 20 minutes, then bring them into the greenhouse, and they absolutely love it. Okay. Absolutely love so it. So if I were on one of your uh, Let's Talk Science tours mm -hmm. here in the greenhouse, what would be the different things that, uh, that you would tell me? Well, we would go around and, uh, well, we'd display the chrysalid, the emergence cage with all the chrysalids. Uh, the kids often will bring fruits in and the butterflies land. I mean, really, they're just so excited you can't really give them too much information in yeah, here. So, exactly. I mean, they, they just love it, yeah. So, what is this that we're looking at right here? Uh, well, we have a bunch of fruits and uh, the butterflies absolutely love the fruits. I don't know the exact species themselves, so... So, but it's a feeder, right? It's, well, yeah. Okay, so yeah. you just put the, the fruit in there and then the butterflies flocked to that. When we first came in here, that was yeah. filled oh, with butterflies. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, let's take a look at the emergence case that yeah. you just mentioned because right. some people may have miss it, missed our conversation earlier in the morning uh, with Ed. So the, the mm -hmm. butterflies come to you as a pupa, right? right. Which is yeah. the, the, what the caterpillar turns into. Yeah. And then they emerge from these pupas into the 40 different species that we see throughout the greenhouse, right? Yes, exactly. Look at me, yeah. I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> so what types of tour groups will you have coming through? Uh, primarily we have uh, K to 6 tour groups, but we do have middle school and high school groups. We mm -hmm. also have some community groups, some senior groups that will be coming through. Mm -hmm. But we have, yeah, we're open for any kind of school or community group to come in. Yeah, All right. absolutely. And now will you be here on the weekend as one of the, the information? Uh, yes, I will be here. We'll have a couple other volunteers here helping out on the weekends as well. Okay. Yeah. Because from the second that I walked through the doors, I had a million different questions yeah. for you and Ed because it's, it's fascinating. I mean, even the process of egg to caterpillar to pupa to butterfly is, for lack of a better word, an anomaly, really. Well, it's, I mean, it's absolute wonder. It, it's nature, you know? And I think butterflies really encapsulate that kind of wonder that you get with the nature. There's just so many really cool things about butterflies. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Fraser. Thank you. A reminder that the uh, Ottawa Butterfly Show will be running until holiday Monday, and it's free. So bring the family down. What an experience. A, 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 a great learning. A learning curve for me, but very, very interesting. Absolutely. Stay Thank you for us. coming out. Our pleasure. We've got more to come from the Ottawa Butterfly Show later on TV Morning. Live.